Egypt has not imposed a tight lockdown so far. The government has only suspended schools, some recreational activities, international flights, and ordered an evening curfew. But aside from this, in agriculture, most of the manufacturing and services sectors, the domestic supply chain is still in place. However, it is the falling demand, both domestic and global, that is expected to bring down the economic growth in Egypt from 5.6% in 2019 to only 2% 2 in 2020. Falling demand will affect most sectors, but some will be uh, hit harder. And amongst those is the real estate sector, which is influenced by rising um, uncertainty and by liquidity fears. Slower real estate demand will affect in turn the construction sector, which employs more than 3 million workers and created more than half of all the new jobs in Egypt in the last couple of years. Other sectors as well will be exposed to the global uh, slowdown, uh, including on top of them tourism, which halted almost completely due to the lockdown. Uh, also, the Suez Canal uh, revenues are falling because of the slow global trade and because vessels are choosing longer routes because the oil prices declined. Cheaper oil also means less remittances from millions of Egyptians working abroad, specifically in the oil-rich Gulf countries. These three sources altogether, Swiss Canal revenues, tourism and remittances, constitute 15% of the Egyptian GDP and are main sources of employment, uh, household income and government revenues, with the latter expected to fall by 25-50% to 50 this year.